Good morning. How are y'all doing this morning? Getting my apron on. You know when the apron comes out, it's fixing to go down in the kitchen. So we got the apron. I'm gonna put it on real quick. This morning, we're gonna make some sourdough brownies. I've got some discard over there that I need to use. So I thought, mm, what could I do for my chocoholic husband? Well, this is what we're going to do. So I've got a little bit of the stuff he knows. So we're going to turn the eye on to about medium. I've got a stick of unsalted butter in here. So we're going to melt that in there. Let me grab. Of course y'all know, I did not grab what all I need. Got to get my spatula. We're going to lay that right there. So, I've got my pan over here. It says to use a 9 by 9 I've got this one. It's what I'm using. And I've sprayed it. But my parchment paper is not wanting to stick, so I may have to spray it again. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get spray out here. We're just going to spray that to hold that parchment paper down. There's another corner. We're going to spray that one. Now, we have got our parchment paper in our pan and that way when the brownies are done we can just pull them out okay and I'm slinging stuff across the room lord y'all didn't see that hopefully <laughs> I don't think you did anyway so we're just gonna let our butter melt now the next thing we're gonna do is 12 ounces of semi-sweet chocolate chips so I have bulk let me let me fix my camera here just a minute so y'all can see everything. There we go. Now, I'm going to guesstimate on these, okay? If you want to weigh your chocolate chips out, that's fine. I'm just going to guesstimate. It'll all be fine. There we go. We're going to call that 12 ounces, okay? We're going to say that's 12 ounces. Now we are going to add two teaspoons of vanilla. You don't want your heat turned up. Whoop, one, two. You don't want your heat turned up too much because you want your chocolate chips to melt, not scorch. Okay? So we're going to keep stirring these around. Lock that right there. That butter's melting down. Chocolate chips are already starting to get warm. And then I'm going to pour in a half a cup of cocoa powder. It says Dutch cocoa powder. Uh, no. You're getting regular cocoa powder here. That's what I'm using. That's what I've got. I don't know. I'm, I am not sophisticated and I do not know were to even find Dutch cocoa powder. So, yeah, we're using what I got. That's just the way it is. So we're just gonna keep this stirred. Chocolate chips are already melting. We're gonna incorporate all the cocoa powder, make sure it's all in there. Now this is not one of them throw and go kind of recipes. This one's a little more in depth, and that's okay. I've got some time today. It's just laundry day here, so in between loads, I'm gonna work on these little projects that I've been kind of putting off for a while. I took off several days from filming over the weekend because the whole month of July was spent Oh, canning and preserving and freezing and all dehydrating and all the things. And I just kind of, I mean, it was either garden or clean. Garden or clean. Well, 
guess what I did? So, took the weekend, got everything caught up, got the house cleaned back up. If you've got a six-year-old in your house, you know exactly what I'm talking about, why it took the weekend. Got his room all cleaned back up, got everything ready for his first day back to homeschool, which was Monday. Today is Wednesday. For me, anyway, it is. And, yeah, now we're back and trying to get caught up. I have got either a summer cold or some allergies going on or something. I don't know. I don't know. There ain't no telling. So this is almost melted down. I want this to be a smooth consistency. And then we're going to take it off the burner. Off the stove eye. And we're going to let this set. And cool for a few minutes. While we move over to the other counter. And get started on the next step of this process. And there we go. That is is done so we're going to set this back here to the back and just let that sit there and cool let's move over to the other side and get started on the next step all right we're over here on the other side and my dishwasher just opened up go put those up buddy he thinks he's going to have chips for breakfast wrong so, I dug out the trusty, dusty KitchenAid because this is going to have to sit here and mix for about seven minutes or so, and I didn't want to do the hand mixer. Somebody's still in these jammies. Yes, that's Christmas jammies. Anyway, my dishwasher just opened. It's right here, and it's blowing steam everywhere. I may have a hot flash here in just a minute. I don't know. Whew. <laughs> All right, so to my mixing bowl, oh, trying to decide whether or not I'm going to have hot flash. I have got two large eggs and one egg yolk in here. So we're going to add that down in there just like that. Whoa, that looks so cool. <laughs> okay. We're going to add, let me see, let me make sure. We are going to add ow, a half a cup of brown sugar. Y'all, I may have to I may have to pause for a minute to get away from this dishwasher. Seriously. Alright, there's our brown sugar. Brown and sugar. then we brown sugar. They probably don't want to hear a song this morning. What do you think? Probably not. I just like singing. <laughs> then we're going to add one cup of just regular granulated sugar. I'm using a half cup scoop. So there we go. There's one cup of that. Then we're going to put this on the mixer. And this needs to mix together. It says 7 to 10 minutes. So let me grab this. Brown chicken, sourdough brown, brown sourdough. Well, start it out on low. It ain't gonna be loud, buddy. The little loud. The little loud? Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna let this just sit here, do its thing for about, I'm gonna check it at seven minutes. Just let it sit there and go. So, we'll be right back, won't we, buddy? Yep. Yep. Alright, y'all. It has been... About eight minutes of me listening to this thing squeak. <laughs> I'm turning that off. Okay. We're going to lift this up. Oh my goodness. We're going to pour our chocolate mixture in here. We don't want to scramble the egg. That's why I let it sit over there and cool off. Okay. I just checked it to make sure that it is good. Not too hot. Oh my goodness. Y'all. This 
already smells really good. I mean, I gotta admit, this may be some really good brownies. I don't know. I've never tried this recipe, so I don't know yet. We're gonna find out together. So I'm gonna lay that right there. Grab my sourdough over here. Look at all them bubbles. Can y'all see them bubbles? I am excited. I'm gonna grab me a paper towel so I can wipe this off as soon as I get done with it. We're gonna need, let me make sure, half a cup sourdough starter. Look at there. Look at there. Now I'm gonna clean this off. I'm just going to set this back because here in just a few minutes, I will feed it because I want to make a Dutch oven bread tomorrow, I think. I may start mixing it up tonight, but we shall see. And put my coffee filter back on there. That's what works best for me. All right, we're going to put this over here in our bowl. I'm going to grab my spatula. Make sure I get all that out. Make sure. There we go. There we go. Now. Now. We're going to put this back, turn this back on low. We're just going to let this sit here and combine for just a minute. And while we're doing that, hang on, buddy. Hang on, my dude. I am going to grab, I thought I was going to grab. Nope. There's my measuring cup for this. Grab it. All right, that is combined. I wish I had a glass bowl so you guys could see this. I really do, I really do. So now we're gonna add our salt. We need a teaspoon of salt. Excuse me. Salt. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Pinky Moran salt? Uh-huh. How did so I know? I've got a half teaspoon measure here. So there's half. There's one. One teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to add one cup of all-purpose flour. And this is a half uh -huh. cup measure. All-purpose flour? Yeah, all-purpose flour. All-purpose And I am going to raise this up. So there's half. Half a teaspoon. No, half a cup. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Do you think you'll get dressed today or are we going to have a jammy day? I think we might have a jammy day. <laughs> You'd have a jammy day every day if you could, wouldn't you? Yeah. All right, we're going to set that over there all the way. We're just going to incorporate this flour into here. That's it. That is it. I'm going to run over here, grab my baking pan that I've got lined with the parchment paper. He said I'd grab her baking pan. Yeah. If we I gotta shut that. Woo! Lord have mercy, y'all. All right, it is incorporated that quick. Okay, that quick. So let me find <laughs> this. And I am just going to get all that off of there. And I get to lick the bowl, right? You get to lick the bowl? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. It might be good, it might not. We're going to find out, won't we? Yeah. 
That's it, y'all. That is it. Ooh. You want to taste? Yep. Taste it. Mmm, that tastes good. Is that good? Yeah. All right. Tastes like chocolate. <laughs> it does? Yeah, it tastes like the chocolate pop she gives me every night. <laughs> it's good. All righty. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Aiden, look how good that looks. That's some beautiful stuff. I reckon. I've got my oven over there preheated to 350. It's ready to go. It's just waiting on me. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Y'all see how thick that is? It's going to be a fun experience uh, just eating these brownies. I know. Nanny might have to make some ice cream to go with these. What you think about that? Cool. Yeah. Super have some hot that. fudge brownies or something. Hot fudge brownies. Now, y'all, I'm saying that. But when it comes time <laughs> to do all that. Oh, sometimes Nanny falls short, don't she? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Nanny's going to take a quick taste test. Does it taste good? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Nanny put her foot in them. All right. Going in the oven, 350, for 35 to 40 minutes. I'll start checking at about 30 because my oven's off sometimes. And yeah, let's get these in the oven because I'm excited to try these. Let's check on our brownies. Oh, look how good those look. Oh my goodness. Look at there. I can already tell that Oh, they're close. Oh, look. Okay. We're going to put this back in. Do y'all see how those have puffed up? Oh, my gosh. So, we're going to put the timer on. I'm going to do about six more minutes. Yeah. There we go. So, we'll check them again. Clean toothpick. Let's check them again. Timer has went off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Let's check them. Let's see. Nope. Not quite. Alright. We're going to add. I don't want the outside to burn. So... We are going to set this timer. We're going to do five more minutes. Okay. I know my pan was a little bit smaller than what it called for. It shouldn't have been that much. But it's thick. So we'll check them again in five minutes. See where we're at. Time to check them again. Let's see what we got. Oh, they're starting to crack. Oh my goodness. Oh. Yes, I know. I need to clean my oven. That'll happen. Just not today. Look at there. Alright, a couple more minutes. Oh goodness. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> Grunting and groaning. Alright, I am going to say... Oh, yeah. Two minutes. Two minutes. Alright, y'all. We're going to get these out of the oven. I want them to still be fudgy. Not cake-like. So, y'all saw how they looked on the toothpick. And that's the way. I just wanted to cook a couple more minutes. There they are. Look at there. 
Looky there. Now I'm going to show you with my toothpick. Use this end. They still got a little bit on there, but they'll continue to cook sitting here, okay? Because I put them on a pot holder and uh, they're going to continue to cook for a few more minutes. I don't want the edges to get burnt, okay? That's what was fixing to happen. Had we left them in there any longer, the edges were getting ready to burn. I don't want that. So I'm going to let them sit here, cool off for a little while, and then we're going to lift them up with the parchment paper, cut them up, get them all ready for dessert tonight to go along with supper. So, those look and smell amazing, and I cannot wait to dig into these. Of course, you know, we have to taste test before we serve. So... We're going to let these cool for a little bit. We're going to try them. Just saying. All right, y'all. We have waited about as long as we can to try these things. You see that little face right there? What are you wanting? Huh? What are you wanting? <laughs> so, we are going to taste test these brownies. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look at there. Look how fudgy. Look. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, here, here. There's yours. You gonna wait on Nanny? All right. Are you gonna wait on Nanny before you try yours? Mm, these are good. You didn't wait on me. <laughs> I am not. I am not believing you didn't wait on me. Best brownies in the world. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh, these are awesome. Like, not too sweet. Super fudgy, which I love. That's our way to eat them. Oh my gosh. Mm. Look. Look at that brownie. Look uh, at that brownie. Look at how oh, my kids lost to my brownie. <laughs> <laughs> you can beat Nanny, ain't you? Yeah, these would be super good. I mean, they're super good now, but vanilla ice cream, homemade vanilla ice cream, I'm just saying. I wouldn't be mad at that. Not at all. Dude. They're super good, ain't they? Rich chocolate. Oh my gosh. I may be in trouble. Mm. <clears throat> Pat may have some of these when he gets home and he may not. Mm -mm. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I need to put those up. Wow. All right, y'all. We're going to go. Yeah, well, I'm going to go finish my brownie. He's yeah. already finished his. You didn't even drop a piece on the floor. Yeah, I'm going to eat one of these for breakfast tomorrow. <laughs> That's more. I'm going to go finish my brownie. Yeah, I'm going to eat one of these for breakfast tomorrow. I'm going to go finish my brownie. Yeah, I'm going to Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being here. Be blessed. As always, be blessed. Much love to each and every one of you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye.